Jalen, when when you see that play call on, on Saturday, the the Philly special, what what's going through your mind? Man, I wasn't nervous because how much we ran it. I'm like, man, we pra- we've practicing it since last year for real. So um, I was just like, man, finally. <laughs> and uh, I was like, KD, just get open and catch it. So, you know, it worked out perfect. Feel good when it left your hands? Oh, yeah. I felt – honestly, it was, it was kind of a duck. I was like, oh, but it got there. So that's all I was worried about. <laughs> when you guys are able to kind of capitalize on a lot of those gadget plays uh, – the the touchdown Benji scored on. Mm. W- what does that do for your confidence? Just just knowing that hey, you know, a little bit of trickery here or there, you know, kind of makes all the difference sometimes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we work on a lot of stuff every week, and uh, I think it does a lot for our confidence because you know most of the time when we complete them, they're explosive plays, and you know, help us you know either get jobs going or put it in the end zone. So it helps our confidence a lot. How do you get chosen? For that role, is it just because you're kind of the Swiss Army knife guy that does a lot of things, or? Uh, kind of, you know, we have a little, we had a little tryouts for it, I guess. Uh, but I mean, I've been running that when, like I said, we practicing it so last year, like just in practice and stuff. So, I don't know, I, I don't even know how they selected it. Just happened. So. <laughs> you also had a pretty nice punt return, uh, and that game kind of shook it for you. Feel feel good to break one like that, and and, and how's that whole operation working right now? Oh uh, yeah, it definitely felt good. I haven't broke one. Um, a couple of games, so it, it felt good to, you know, it was like 25 or something like that. It felt that felt good, and um, you know, I got a lot of confidence in those guys on the team, just just the way how they work and the effort they put into it. So you know, I'm confident back there, just to you know catch it, just make a guy miss, and I know they're gonna have blocks for me down down the field. Jalen, it seems like the coaching staff put an emphasis, I guess, getting back to the UVA game last year about the importance of games and get, getting people who aren't really familiar with this, like up to date, like they did a couple of weeks ago with Boston College. What have they done this week in terms of getting you prepared for Syracuse and going up to play in the care in the dome, a place that there's a lot of history there and tech really hasn't had a lot of success there over the years? Um, yeah, so, you know, it's still early in the week, but we've already talked about how, you know, the crowd noise is going to be a little different in the dome and, you know, getting back used to playing on turf, stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's just like every week, you know, it's always a history, especially just in, in the ACC and you know, how many times they've played each other. But, um, yeah, the main talk was about crowd noise and communication is going to be vital this week and just making sure we're all on the same page. Coach was saying that Tuesday is is that practice where you guys kind of hone in on those, like the Philly special, those creative plays. What does Tuesday look like for you? Is that something you look forward to, kind of practicing those trick plays that could potentially make a big impact on Saturday? Oh, yeah, I always enjoy pra- practicing trick plays, especially if I'm throwing in stuff like that. It's always fun. But, um, you know, um, we're always going to have that kind of stuff in the playbook. I'm, I know Coach Tebow and the staff got a lot more stuff up their sleeves. So, you know, I'm excited to see what we can pull out for the rest of the season. Other questions for Jalen? Andy? I know Ali had that, that injury earlier in the season. Do you feel like he's closer to himself? And Have you sensed any frustration with him just trying to get back from uh, another injury like that? Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's always frustrating, especially with that hammy. You know, I've dealt with a fair share of that. Um, but, you know, I feel like he's definitely getting back to himself and, um, you know, just getting back in the swing of things. Um, and, you know, his role on the team is, you know, he's, we, we want him to be a playmaker, and, you know, it's hard to do that when you're dealing with injuries. But, you know, he's going to be – I feel like he's going to be fully healthy for sure this week, and, um, you know, and hopefully we can get him the ball, and I hope all of us can, you know, just continue to make plays and help us win. On a three-game win streak, what what does that mean to you guys in the locker room? And, Kind of what are the vibes around here heading into to Saturday? I mean, yeah, we're good. You know, I feel like we got a lot of momentum under us, so we just got to, you know, just continue to hone in on that and not get satisfied and just know we still got a lot of work to do to get where we want to get to. When the defense plays like it did on Saturday, what is that like from, from your perspective? Um, honestly, it made me feel bad just, just looking how good they played and how, you know, it wasn't a lot of complimentary ball playing. Um, so, you know, the, my goal and our goal as offense this week is to, you know, have our defense back a little bit more this week. And, you know, when they get a turnover, when they get a stop three and out, you know, we go down, get a long drive score. Um, you know, just that complimentary football is, a, you know, big emphasis this week. You're a guy who obviously plays a lot on special teams. Um, somebody who 
wasn't really talked about a lot until this past week was Peter Moore. He had 10 punts. And what, what can you just say about his consistency from, from what you've seen? Uh, yeah, Peter, he's a he's going to be an NFL punter. Um, you know, his leg, Just I just remember, I was go back to the first time I ever caught one of his punts was when I played against him in 2021 when I was at MT. And I'm like, yo, this is the hardest punt I ever caught. So, you know, and I catch those every single practice. So, you know, he's um he's a great, consistent punter, and um, you know, he's going to continue to do what he does. Now at the point in the season where true freshman guys can – Playing the games without burning the retro. What have you seen from the guys in your room, like Chance Wiggins, Brody Adams, at to this point? Oh uh, yeah, they're ready. Um, like Brody, he's been consistently getting better uh, each and every week. So is Chance, and um, you know they're gonna get the opportunity to get in there, get some burn, and um, you know I'm excited for him. You know I remember being a, a freshman and getting my first burn, and this is a lot of excitement. So I'm happy for him. Post game, KD uh, was pretty emphatic that it was a duck to throw. How, how soon after the game was he sort of – I mean, after the play, was he sort of on you about that? Man, he said it on the side. The first thing he said to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't even see the him comment that until after the video came out. I said, oh, man, he called it a duck. So, <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, I was like, man, it got there. It's just, that's all that matters. Syracuse leads – I believe leads the nation in time of possession. How vital is it then for this offense to be able to capitalize each drive with a score, knowing like, possessions might be few and far between? Yeah, that's a, a big emphasis. Really, the past couple of weeks, just you know, like Georgia Tech was kind of like that as well. They, you know, they held the ball a long time, so we were just like, you know, we know we're not going to get a lot of possessions, so we got to make them count. And uh, you know, our focus is definitely going to be, you know, making them count better this week. Coach Pryor was in here and saying that uh, since you don't have a medical degree, he kind of shrugged away the uh, base. will be in the drama queen comment that you made yesterday. But how has he looked? And you seem like you're pretty optimistic that you know he'll be out there. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, he's been moving around really good. Um, you know, he got on me about that comment like immediately after the, uh, the uh, video came out. But uh, <laughs> nah, yeah, he's gonna be good. But you know, like I just you know continue to look to pry for further. Prognosis, I won't give him any more. <laughs> you guys really turned it on the second half of last season. Uh, do you kind of feel like the same thing is happening with this group this year? Are you, are you hitting your stride? Yeah, I definitely feel that way. You know, we, um, you know, we've been through our ups and downs, obviously, like any team has. But, you know, I feel like we're starting to hit our stride, and it's the perfect time. You know, they always remember November. So, uh, you know, we do what we got to do in November, and we can, we're can we going to like where we're at by the end of the season. Um, just scouting Syracuse's defense, what do you expect to see? Um, so they're a really good third down defense. Um, we know that um, they got some good rushers, and, you know, they play a lot of zone coverages. So, you know, our main job is just we're going to have to beat zone and get open and, those you know, stay in manageable third downs, and um, so we can keep uh, drives going. What we couldn't do last week. Uh, have Have you ever played in a dome before? No, this is my first time. Uh, I had an opportunity at Middle Tennessee, but because uh, we play UTSA a lot, but there uh, every time we played them there, it was like COVID protocols that I got stuck with. So um, yeah, I've never played in a dome, so I'm excited. I mean, my, what do you? I, I guess how does it maybe change, or what do the coaching staff tell you, kind of about kind of what to expect from from that atmosphere? Yeah, you know, we got a lot of coaches on staff that's played there, and um, but you know, it's they just said don't think too much of it. Obviously, you know, it's still football. We got to go out, play our game, but it is a little bit different. So just expect the crowd noise to be a little different. But main thing is if we go out and execute like we like we know we can, then it won't be a huge factor. I guess when you bring up the dome, it, I guess it, it probably is more specific for you because you'd be looking up at a punt in the roof like that. Are you going to try to get out there like early and get some some practice and something? Well, like that? you know, we um, you know, our indoor, we got, yeah, we got one of the biggest indoors in the country, um, as far as practice facility wise, and you know, we do punts in there all the time. So I don't think that'd be a huge, but I, I definitely get in there and you know get a feel for it. But yeah, thanks, Sam. Thank y'all.